thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, I'm very excited to talk a little bit about Daviness and about our mass color. But before uh, starting the class, I would like to share with you a few words about uh, Daviness education. Just give me a second. I'm not very technologically uh, not one of the uh, parts. Okay. So we can start. Now, the Davines Education Mission is here to support and inspire Davines community to connect and grow for a beauty, a sustainability future. Um, and yeah, a few words about myself. For those who don't know me, I'm Maria Borevic. I'm Davines International Master Trainer. And uh, I'm working as International Master Trainer almost for 10 years now. And, uh, but being uh, even longer as a National Master Trainer for Serbia. And besides uh, being a trainer for Davines, I uh, also run a small salon in uh, Belgrade, Serbia, where I am based. Now, to take maximum benefits of this class, uh, feel free to take notes. And uh, it is scientifically approved. If you take notes and you review your notes in the following 24 hours, you will remember up to 80% of the content. So it's really convenient to take the most of the content. Uh, you have a, a raise your hand button on the um, lower part of your screen. So if you want to say something, if you want to share something with us, just uh, raise your hand. Feel free to ask any questions you have regarding mask or daviness. I will give my best to answer all your questions during the class. In case uh, that happened that I don't manage to answer the question during this class, please post your question in Daviness Education Facebook page and I will review all the questions there and I will get back to you with an answer, okay? Uh, I kindly ask you to put your phones in a silent mode. Uh, actually, more precisely here, you are all muted to have better quality of sound. So in case that you want to share something with us and you want me to unmute you, let me know and I'll do that for you. Okay, so just remember to use the chat box for questions. Okay, so far? And just give me a second because I open the meeting also in my on my phone so I can hear myself and it's not really convenient doesn't give any uh, benefits to concentration and focus okay so agenda for today we will speak about who is Daviness we will discover mask inspiration behind the line then uh, innovative technology that is used for creation of the line. Uh, we will uh, speak about the system, how to mix it, what kind of intensifiers we have and what you can get by using those, uh, how to make formulation and five minutes to get. Actually, five minutes to get separate lots run by uh, my colleague Francesco Perry. And probably most of those who attended our online education already know Francesco. So, uh, and also on a YouTube, you can find the uh, five minutes to care class. So uh, you can go uh, more in depth about that one. Now, who is Davines? Does any of you already know something about Davines? And is there something that you would like to say about Davines? Anyone? Are you with me, guys? Please raise your hands if you are with me. Very good. 
Very good. Thank you, Toda. Katrina, Becky. Thank you, everyone. Okay. So, Davines is family owned company. Uh, it is Italian family, Bolatti. Mr. Gianni and uh, Mrs. Silvana, they uh, found the company back in 1983. And they started by producing um, high quality hair care products and formulas and selling these formulas for uh, well, very well known companies uh, today. Now in 1993, when they saw how good job they are doing, right? I decided to learn creating our own company with our own product. Uh, and this is how Davines is born. A little bit later, in uh, 1993, uh, uh, in 1996, sorry, uh, Comfort Zone was founded. And Comfort Zone is a skincare product for premier spa salons. We are international company and uh, we have uh, our headquarter in Parma in Davines village who some of you may have opportunity to visit already and uh, we also have our subsidiaries and academies in uh, London, New York City, Paris, Denver, Mexico City and Hong Kong. Now Davines is a B Corp certificated company and it means that Davines use uh, its business as a force for good. In the village, in, even in our production, we are using only clean energy and renewable energy, which comes 100% uh, renewable energy, which comes from wind, water, sun and so on. We also have collaboration with the LiveGate. And we don't know what an environmental organization uh, who uh, with them through the zero impact um, uh, process, uh, we neutralize any uh, negative impact that we have during production of our products. To, to make it more clear and more simple, uh, during any production, it is almost impossible not to release CO2 into atmosphere. So, kind of inspector, this is Davines from LiveGate. Uh, he calculate how much CO2 we release during our production, and uh, to compensate that CO2. We plant trees uh, in Madagascar, in Europe, worldwide, and so on, to neutralize the impact that we collaborate also with your uh, FSC, and FSC stands for Forest Stewardship Council, which is uh, again non-governmental, non-profitable organization taking care of not affecting natural balance of trees on our plant. So any paper wrapping or boxes that we are using are coming from FSC. We also collaborate with the Slow Food Presidia, uh, with uh, our line Essential Hair Care, where we, uh, we are using slow food uh, uh, plants as our main active ingredients in different lies lines of essential hair care. Now in the past we were speaking about Davines mission and Davines vision but today uh, we join this vision and mission into one purpose and our purpose statement is to be the best for the world creators of a good life for all through beauty ethics and any questions so far? Okay. Thank you. 
that you liked the video that you just saw. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go back to the correct slide and this is the one. Okay, so let's speak about inspiration for the line. Uh, mask is our main uh, coloring system, permanent coloring system. And uh, with mask, with Vibrachrome, we have an inspirational slogan which says, what is art if not state of being? And uh, our creative director, Maria Vittoria Mangerotti, uh, she mentioned the ones that she noticed much more art that she also noticed uh, more art on the street by uh, observing street art, uh, street artists like graffiti and so on. Uh, more than you can see in some museums even. And this made her think that there is an artist in all of us it's just not that everyone got uh, opportunity to express themselves. And this is why she gave opportunity to herself through artistic photography. She my collection uh, for the most beautiful photo, uh, which represents just beauty. What is beauty for you or a beautiful moment, a capture on a picture and so on. And, um, and then uh, we were not aware that it's not gonna be only one photo which is gonna be a uh, winning photo, but uh, we had uh, for the launch of the line 80, 85 nuances. So we have 85 different and uh, uh, it is amazing uh, how you can find a way to give a soul to, to a color tube and to give it its own personality. Now, uh, name mask, we use for a very long time because uh, mask, as, as mask line, it's not brand new. Uh, we have it in in 2016, we relaunched mask by uh, a completely different and completely new formula and completely new packaging. And that we for 20 years. So our lab with 20 years of experience and not only our lab, but Davines in general, uh, experience with uh, professionals in a hairdressing they could understand much better our needs as hairdresser. And also we have so uh, cutting edge technology today and different ingredients are considered as a wanted and desired ingredient. So this is what uh, led to change of a mask formulation in 2016. The reason why the name basically is not change is uh, if you think in many countries, there are, uh, when new baby is born, they give a name to a baby according to a grandma or according to a grandfather and so on. And the reason why is it so is because uh, in a way we are aware that thanks to our parents or even grandparents, our family, it is what it is today. So with the same approach, we decided to uh, pay our tribute to mask as well by keeping mask name because it made us what we are today. Now, uh, for those who didn't have the opportunity to see a picture, I hope you can see, this is the packaging of a mask color. So on the front, you can see black and white white picture and you can see the photographer and the country from which the photographer comes from uh, now all the the packaging is 
in white because when you have black and white surface what stands out is the light and we need the light to be able to see colors now Davina's research uh, and development lab in Parma uh, invented vibrochrome technology and vibrochrome technology is union of three different worlds uh, because we have as main active ingredients ingredients which comes from nature ingredient which comes from cosmetic world and ingredient which comes from a textile world so from nature we have quinoa protein extract which increase color absorption and it gives incredible shine uh, even more the quinoa used to be considered by uh, sacred inca as uh, mother of grain and uh, it's been known even from 3000 uh, bc so it's a lot uh, in 2013 it was uh, pronounced as a year of quinoa by UN. So it's really, really um, interesting ingredient for uh, hair color particularly. It is so much hair friendly that we believe that in the future it will be must have inside of permanent colors. But we will wait and see. We are lucky that we are among the first one to use quinoa as a main active ingredient in the color. Uh, then we have conditioning agent rich in omega-9 fatty acid. Um, omega has a structure to the small hair pin and thanks to this fact it attaches attach itself to the hair really easy and it stay there. Uh, what we think of quinoa is protection and nourishment. It gives incredible shine to the hair uh, and it also uh, gives vibrancy to our colors. And last but not least is phospholipid carrier, which comes from a textile world. Uh, now, our research and development department, uh, when choosing active ingredients, really start to think more out of the box and uh, in a research for ingredient which will give uh, high condition and which will also give longevity to our color. And they were thinking, how is it possible, for example, if you have a silk dress uh, which is painted in red and you wash that dress once, five times, 10 times, and we color our hair into a red after a certain number of washing it's not red anymore it starts to go a bit orange and so on losing vibrancy and shine and uh, in this research they discovered phospholipid carrier which is used to uh, be used for coloring silk and thanks to this ingredient we have so uh, good color durability both inside of silk or inside of our hair the reason why we are comparing it with silk is because the silk fiber is very similar to a hair fiber it's really delicate so you cannot use whatever you have in mind to color the silk so if it works with silk uh, now after this time we certainly can tell it works with the hair as well Now, inside of uh, mass color, we are using different reflexes. And the reflexes that you can find is a natural warm. Uh, and natural warm on a tube is not marked with any number. So, for example, uh, natural on a level 6 would be 6.0. Natural warm is only 6. I hope this is clear. If it's not clear, please let me know. Okay. Then point one stands for ash, 
based on the blue pigments. Point two stands for violet based on iris. Three stands for gold. Four stands for copper. Point five stands for pigments. Point six is means red. Point seven is beige made of yellow and green pigment. And point eight is green pigment. Here you can see our color wheel and uh, you can easily uh, understand the, which nuances that we have are cold nuances, which are warm, which nuance you can use to neutralize different reflex and so on. Uh, the only challenge that uh, we had during creation of color wheel is for example, if we take a nuance seven, 24. So uh, 724 is uh, medium blonde with iris and copper reflex. So iris is more on a copper side. So this one was a little bit challenging to decision. But as you can see, it's still in, a, it, it is still in violet because our main reflex is cold and is violet but slowly getting towards the warm side okay i find this you uh, this tool really really useful for everyday salon work and you can find our color wheel in uh, every uh, color chart of mask now the levels we have nuances from level one to level 12. There is only one uh, level that we are missing and I will tell you shortly about that one. So the system itself, it's permanent color, uh, which allows you to lighten the hair up to three levels with the regular nuances, up to five levels when you are using our extra leaks and 40 volume. Uh, then you can darken the hair, you can change the reflex, you can use it for toning and covering white hair. Uh, in mask, ammonia uh, is used as alkalizing agent, which we need to uh, open cuticle and create alkaline environment. Now, ammonia is calibrated minimum as we need. That's why, for example, in dark shades, when you're coloring the hair very dark, you don't need so open cuticle. And therefore, you will find only 0.6% of ammonia inside of our dark shade. But going to lighter shades, we have 2.4% of ammonia in uh, shades of level 10. So it gradually increase percent of ammonia depends on how light the shade uh, you are using. We also have uh, the highest content of ammonia you will find in our extra leaf, area 12, uh, where we have 3.9% of ammonia. Uh, still, uh, this is much less than we used to use in the past, but uh, thanks to Vibrachrome uh, technology, we can still have excellent performance, lightening up to five levels, even with so low percent of ammonia. Color cream pH vary between 9 and 10.5. It depends on many different factors, room temperature and so on. Uh, and uh, activator is two. So when you mix the color with activator, uh, it's actually quite logical if you think. For a permanent color, we need alkaline environment. So the mixture of these two still needs to be, and it is alkaline. And it's not much different the pH when it's mixed with activator than when it's with Now, how to mix it? Okay, uh, so first of all, when you are covering, when you are covering white hair, 
if you have less than 50% of a white hair, your job is easy. You just choose nuance that you want and the activator that you want and you color the hair. Now, to guarantee optimum coverage, you will always refer to 20 volume of activator. Mixing ratio of uh, color and activator is one to one and a half. So for example, for 30 grams of color, you will need 35 grams of activator. Now, if you have more than 50% of a white hair or you uh, have resistant white, white hair, I recommend you to use one third of the nuance from natural series and then two-thirds from nuance fashion shades or reflex nuances. Uh, in mask color we actually have four different uh, natural nuances which uh, will give you optimum white hair coverage. So we have natural cereal, then we have natural intense we have natural ash and we have natural warm and i have here with me to show you as an example and to make sure that it's very clear for you so i have one of each our natural nuances on a level four uh, so for example as we mentioned when we spoke about reflexes, 4.0 is natural four. 44.0 is our natural intense. 4.1 is natural ash, and four is natural warm on a level four. So all these four nuances can give you, uh, can uh, secure you very good white hair coverage. Uh, if you want to use 435, uh, 435 is warm nuance, ideal uh, it would be to mix it with, with 4, okay? So you will need one third of 4 and two thirds of 435. You can also make it half and half if you work with the resistant hair. Um, if the hair is very resistant or ethnical kind of hair, instead of four, I advise you to choose to assure your white hair coverage one third or one half of 44.0 and then two thirds or one half of your 435. Uh, activator for white hair Processing time is 35 minutes, but can be extended up to 45 minutes when you work on resistant uh, hair. I hope this is clear. Any questions, guys? Can you please raise your, uh, raise your hands if everything is clear so far? Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Good. Now, uh, for darkening or lightening for one level, we also recommend to use 20 volumes. So we can even say that this is gonna be the one that you will use the most because we also use the 20 volume for changing the reflex. Mixing ratio is always the same. It's one to one and a half. Now here on the screen, what you cannot see is volume. We also have 10 volume. 10 volume we recommend when you want to refresh lengths and ends, but only in cases where you are working uh, on um, hair which is in a good condition. Because due to fibrochrome technology, now we have much better pigment penetration and uh, the easily uh, penetration in a more uniform way, which is beautiful. It makes our work as a colorist more easy and more uh, clear. But uh, the thing is with 10 volume, you have a little bit less of control of pigment depositing. 
So use ten volume only when you work with a healthy hair, or for example, in a root area uh, for darkening, it can work really well because in root area, most of the time we work with a healthy hair. Uh, when you want to leave the natural color for two levels, we recommend to use thirty volume for three levels, forty volume. If you want to leave natural color for more than three levels, you can do that either by choosing Syria 12 mixed with 30 volume or by adding into nuance on a level 10, adding the booster. Uh, mask nuance plus booster plus 40 volume will give you four levels of lightening or extra leaf Syria 12 with 30 volume will also give you three levels of lighting. Uh, I mentioned that we have all levels except one and this is level 11. So in mass color you will not find level 11 and the reason is because when you use Syria 12 with the 30 volume you are actually getting results which you would normally get with Syria 11. So this is why we didn't consider it necessary to introduce level 11. On the other hand, when you have uh, Syria 12 mixed with 40 volume, you will lighten natural hair for four levels, and for five levels. So this is what will give you maximum lighting. Uh, for all mask nuances, processing time is 35 minutes, which can be extended uh, 45 in case of strong white hair or when uh, you are lightening dark hair actually in that case processing time is 50 minutes minimum and can go up to 70 minutes so more light or more resistant hair you have then uh, more processing time is advisable for your extra lift but not more than 70 minutes I also mentioned that you can use mask uh, with vibrachrom for toning and in that case you choose desired nuance, any or that you want, mix it in a mixing portion with activator 5 volume and in this case processing time is 1 to 15 minutes. We also have intensifiers. Uh, we have four intens intensifiers so far. 0 0.12 which is ash irise uh, or can be also considered as light ash. 0 0.25 which is violet mahogany and 0 0.66 which is intense red. Now, when you want to enhance uh, the, re the reflex of new ones that you are using, you will need four fifths of the mask shade and one fifth of intensifier. Activator for uh, 0.5 parts of activator. So for example, you will need 40 grams of uh, mask color, 10 grams of intensifier and 90 gram of activator. Now to modify the reflex you need two parts of mask shade, one part of uh, activator and one and a half parts of activator. Uh, so 40 gram of mask, 20 grams of intensifiers and 30 grams of activator. And you can also use our intensifier uh, as a creative tool for creative colors. Then you don't mix it with another mask shade. So you just choose desired intensifier. Uh, mix it in a mixing portion with your activator 10 volume. And the processing time is up to 35 minutes. Uh, our team create uh, this diagnostic sheet uh, that you can see here and it makes uh, our diagnosis very easy and uh, very precise and uh, I would like to share with you how you can use it. 
first you can see on the side uh, under tone that uh, find in the hair then counteracting nuance uh, which you can use to neutralize undertone in case that you want to neutralize it then you can see a small newton star underneath which tells you what kind of uh, reflexes do we have and with what number they are marked you can note that uh, we have point one which is mark of blue because it's based on the blue pigments in the mask but we have again point one which is green uh, that it is for a new color because our ash in a new color is based on green pigments and uh, here you have a reminder of uh, mixing ratio on the uh, very lower part of the uh, sheet. So you have a reminder of a mixing ratio, uh, how many levels of lightening you can have with different activators from mask system, how many lightening or dark have Then the first line, Okay, very good. So the, the first line says, sorry guys. What's the starting level? So you, you take a swatch book from a mass color chart and in case you didn't have opportunity to see our mask color chart uh, this is how it looks like it's really beautiful so first you can find uh, four naturals the series that we have that i recently spoke about then here this is uh, white hair percent uh, intent, uh, identifier so this is how it looks uh, here on the level three and level seven here. So you simply take the swatch, place it uh, uh, close to the hair, and you can easily understand uh, what is the percent, is it more or less than 50% of a white hair. Um, so again, to identify level of the hair of your client, you can take out from the swatch book, the swatch, and be very clear and specific with the level that you are starting with. Then you uh, write down what is your target level in zone one and zone 23. Zone one we consider as a part of the hair in the root area, one to two centimeters. Then up to four centimeters, we consider as a zone two. And finally, lengths and ends is our zone three. Uh, then you think about how many levels of lift you need to get uh, your desired level. And you write down that level. And then you think about what activator to use. So then you can go back to the scale underneath and you take a look. If you want to lighten the hair for three levels, okay, so it means you need to use 40 volume. Uh, then what underlying pigments you have in the hair. So you write down, do you have red? Usually we are speaking about warm pigments, red or orange or yellow or mixture of those and so. And now we have a question, use it, lose it, replace it. So these underlying pigments, do you want to use it? For example, if you uh, have uh, orange underlying pigments and your target shade is copper, your target is uh, uh, seven natural, seven zero, then you will probably want to lose it. Or if your target is 7.1 or uh, uh, ash blonde, uh, you will for sure want to replace those pigments. So this is what you write down for zone one and 
zone two also if it's uh, the same case. And then what reflex do you need to achieve uh, the target uh, reflex? Which tube of mask has it? Because when you, when you reach the last point and the last question, you will have through your diagnosis exactly what kind of activator, what, what strength of activator do you want to use, what level of color and what reflex. And it will give you the best result. Is this clear? Everything clear so far? May I see your hands? Thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Catherine. Thanks, everyone. Very good. And this is all that uh, we have for today. We have some time left. Uh, if you have any questions, I'm here for you guys. Do you have any questions? Okay, Catherine. Okay. Uh, okay, we have some questions. Very good. So we have a questions. Let's start one by one. So first question from Coda Salon. Would I use 10 volume for a low light service or 20 volume? Uh, thank you very much for your question. Um, I would go for 20 volume because with 20 volume, you will uh, have much more control on pigment deposit. And uh, particularly if you are doing full head low lights, if it will take um, lots of time for application, uh, you could easily go darker than you want with the 10 volume. So use 20 volume. Uh, the condition of the hair, even with 20 volume with mask color is really good. So don't, don't be afraid to go for 20 volume. Okay, let's see another question. So that I hope that you have your answer. Okay, Catherine. Uh, when using intensifiers, how do you determine how much to use based on the target level? Uh, thank you very much for your question. Catherine, it's a really good question. Uh, in the past, we used to have, I don't know, were you with us for a long time now? We used to have something that we used to call uh, uh, the rule of 10. Uh, so, for example, when you are working on level uh, with color on level one, you can add ten percent of intensifier into your color, and then uh, going to the lower level, you can add uh, uh, less and less and less. Uh, now, with these intensifiers, we don't have such rule. We don't have actually any kind of strong rule, but you can uh, use it. It's quite logical. When you are using with the color on a lighter level and uh, you expect to reach really high level or working on light base, you will need less amount of intensifier to achieve neutral, uh, neutralization of the color or uh, even if you want to cool down your color to achieve the coolness, you will need a small amount of activator. Uh, to stay safe, when you work with light base, uh, of your color. 
but if you're working with the darker nuances or uh, your target is a really cool shade, then you can go even with 10%. Ideally, uh, to your experience, because as hairdressers, I think consider as optimum result what color, uh, you know, even that, I don't know, uh, recently, we had a strong passion of uh, ash shades, but uh, what is beautiful ash for me is may maybe not exactly the same for you. So through experience and play with intensifiers, you will understand uh, Do you have your answer, Katrina? Thank you, Anna. Okay. Koda, uh, can booster be used in other shades like reds to brighten or expose natural warm tones to support the result? Uh, booster can be used with other with all mask nuances. And use booster is with Syria 12. And uh, thank you very much uh, for your question. It's a really good question. Uh, and this is really uh, good to clarify now. Uh, the reason why we don't recommend it to be used with the Syria 12 is in booster, we have 2.4% of ammonia. In Syria 12, as you could see in presentation, we have 3.9% of ammonia. So basically when you are adding booster into your 12s, you're diluting ammonia from your 12. And instead of more lightening, you will have less of lightening. Uh, with all other nuances, you can use booster and you will have really good result. Uh, you can use it with reds, with coppers, and so on. You will have more brightness uh, for sure. Uh, we recommend you to use one third of booster and two thirds of uh, desired shade. You can also go for half and a half, but this will also, if you go half and half, uh, it will also dilute your reflex, which when we speak about reds, probably you don't want. Okay? Okay, Katerina, I have a thank you. Very good. Any other question? Okay, guys, it looks like we don't have more questions. In case that something pop up to your mind later, feel free to ask all of any question in our uh, Davines Education Facebook page. Thank you very much for joining me today. It's really nice and fun to spend this time with you. I do hope that you enjoy this one hour with me too. Until the next time, have a great day and take care of yourself. Bye.